um, this is uh, Chris and Cape Town, event one. We're also now going to go through um, what we think is an awesome workout to kick off uh, Chris and Cape Town 2014. It starts uh, poolside, so uh, for the individuals, it starts with a row. And then immediately after the row, there's six rounds of a swim across the pool, 10 hand release push ups, and a swim back. That's one round. You have to complete six rounds of that. This is the workout flow. Individual athletes will start on the rowers with their hands off the row, off the row handle. Three, two, one, go. Now pick the row, now pick the handle up and start rowing. You will have to row 500 meters. You are not able to release the handle until your display reads 500 meters. Immediately after that, you'll jump in the pool, swim across the pool, jump out of the pool, turn around and face your row and do 10 hand release push ups. Once you Got out of the pool, and once you've done your hand release push ups, you get back in the pool, swim across the pool, make contact with the other side of the pool, and then that will be one round. Carry on doing this until you've got six rounds. The swim will be 25 meters if you're wondering. Okay? Once you've got six on the sixth round, you will come, you'll come to the edge of the pool, jump out, and proceed to the finish mat. Once you're on the finish mat, time will end. There are two scoring opportunities for this workout. The first scoring opportunity will be on the row. So row hard. This is worth 50 points. The next scoring opportunity will be for the six round of swim 25 meters, 10 hand release push ups. This, the points we've uh, allocated for this is 100 points. If you don't complete the workout in a 12 minute time cap, we'll start adding uh, seconds onto your score after that. Cool.